Hey guys, today we're going to build a tooltip app, an iOS tooltip tool tip app, and uh, we're going to use a, a cool new uh, third-party library called Easy Tip View that you, we can find on GitHub. There you go, it's Easy Tip View by Teodor Patras. Uh, that is... Easy tip view, a fully customizable tool tip view written in Swift that can be used as a call to action or informative tip. Uh, so you can see the GIF animations there that sort of illustrate how it looks. <clears throat> you can install it with Cocoa Pods, but I personally prefer Carthage because I'm a frame, I like to drag and drop frameworks into a a you know uh, an app into something that I'm building into a workspace so I do not like Cocoa Pods so to create a package with Carthage you have to run a github command uh, inside of a file and then you save this card file in a directory after this saving this card file you run Carthage update on the file that is in the directory that contains the file so that's what we're doing right now we're fetching easy tip view from you know where it's stored and we're downloading it into uh, onto our computer in a package form so there we go it's done now and as you can see it's created a Carthage folder there we go into that build iOS. Uh, e there you go. You have a framework now. Easy tip view dot framework. So let's open up Xcode now and uh, start working on the project on that side. So let's create a new project, a single view pro single page view project, a uh, single view application that is. And you can name it whatever you want, make sure it's unique. You know, fill in all the necessary things, organization name, uh, identifier and such, and uh, store it in, in a place you can remember. Okay, there you go. Create. Uh huh. So it's created the the project uh, as you can see it's a uh, yeah, it's a it's a pretty straightforward uh, generic iOS uh, project you know so yeah so so now uh, I just lost my train of thought okay we're gonna drag we're gonna drag the new the, the easy tip view framework that we just downloaded from uh, GitHub uh, through, you know, not GitHub, but through, through, and through Carthage, and then drag it into our application. That is, there you go. We dragged into into our application. We did what needed to be done, and now we can go to. We can go to our thing and uh, our storyboard and find a button. So what we're going to do is that we're going to create a button and the button is going to have a tooltip, uh, which is sort of a scenario that typically happens when a user first starts using your application. They don't really know what a certain user interface element slash view does. So that's what we're going to do. So let's style the button first and uh, increase the, the font to 20. And then let's okay. Let's let's change the color of the text. Uh, okay, there you go. Let's change it to white. And then let's change the background color to what? Blue. Um, okay. Uh, let's go. Okay, let's. There you that that. Let's find a kind of a bold blue. Not too dark, not too bright. There you go. Your generic Xcode blue. 
and let's center this button uh, center it in you know center it in in the view because it's gonna it's gonna be the only uh, user interface element that's available in the view so we're center it and you, you don't need to worry about anything else interfering with the button okay let's center it horizontally and vertically there you go done so from there let's let's split the view so that we can create outlets uh, for the button not outlets an outlet for the button Uh, so let's let's okay let's drag and create a you know let's call it tooltip button yeah pretty self-explanatory there it's connected now um, so the way easy tooltips works is that it it's implemented in such a way that you have uh it locates the view that you uh want to 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 have a tooltip on by its super view that is its parent view so in this situation what we have is a button a singular button in, inside a view this view right here so we need to create an outlet for that view so that we can use it to implement the easy tooltips method that locates uh, the view that's going to have a tooltip. So there you, you have it connected now. Uh, it's connected now. And we can start working on the code that's going to show the tooltip. Okay, so let's go to the view controller now. <clears throat> Sorry. Let's go to the view controller and import easy tip view. So we can import it now because we've already included the framework inside the the thing, the project. And of course it has a delegate method, the easy tip view delegate me not the not a delegate method, a delegate class that is. And we're going to create a show tooltip uh, method, which is going to be the method that runs that that runs to show the tooltip. That is, uh, it's showing an error there because we haven't implemented the delegate method, which is the easy view tip. Easy view tip did miss, did dismiss. So we're not going to do anything with that. And essentially what it does is that you click on the tooltip once it appears and it's dismissed by the method. To the way we're going to implement this, the way we're going to implement this tooltip is that we're going to run the application and when the view is appears, that is, when the, the view containing the button appears, the view controller containing the button appears, we wait for 2.5 seconds before we show the the tooltip. So that's what we're doing right now, uh, running a uh, a thread that waits 2.5 seconds before a tooltip is shown. So I'm looking for the okay. Uh, for view, for view is the the. Tool, the, the, the button that requires that's going to have the tooltip within the super view that is the parent view that controls the uh, button and of course the text of the tooltip let's make it simple this is an example of a tooltip tap this to dismiss okay uh, it seems to be complaining there. I wonder what's up. 
uh, preferences. Okay, preferences are essentially uh, configurations of the configurations of the tooltip. So you 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 type in your preferences, how you prefer the 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 tooltip to be to be displayed, the color, the orientation, that sort of thing. So let's let's create preferences, a preferences variable that we will configure in view did load. Uh, so preferences there. And let's go to view did load and uh, create, uh, configure the preferences that is. Okay. Configure preferences. Okay. First of all, let's set the font. Uh, let's set it to something like uh, thirteen or so. Uh, Futura. I like Futura. Futura. Uh, medium. So thirteen or so. Thirteen. Uh, so let's set the foreground color and then after that set the background color um, it's gonna be white on a green background mm, so it's an RGB thing not uh, a uh, preset green but a sort of a, a green that that I like that I like to use in a lot of my projects so uh, let's set it up there The alpha, of course, is going to be one. I like uh, my tooltips to be as uh, you know. I don't like transparency in tooltips. Let's okay. I mistyped delegate there. Oh, and self. I forgot about the self inside the threads. That is, yeah. There you go. And then we take the tooltip thing and then we we put it in the tooltip method and then we put it in inside the view dead load so that's that's it basically that's it oh by the way uh, we need to embed we need to embed the framework Inside, uh, yeah, we need to do the embedded binary thing. Otherwise, it's going to create errors. And then let's run the application and see. So we're running it on iPhone 6. Okay, 2.5 seconds. Boom, there you go. It's working. Yeah. You tap on that and it's dismissed. So it's it's pretty rudimentary, but as you can imagine, the applications can be tremendous, and fundament uh, fundamentally you can create as complex user a uh, user interface as you want, and then you can play with that. So these are the preferences on the. Yeah, of the easy tool tool tip thing tool, tool easy tip view and then you can look at them and configure them and tinker around with them and see what you can build it's all on there on uh, uh, github easy tip view just take a look at it and there's a lot to consider there yeah so that's it folks uh thanks for your time uh, I'm out.